Sorry, we're late, Dharma. That's okay. Where is everybody? Not here. So we're not late? No, I just don't think anybody's coming. So we are late. Larry, it doesn't matter if we're late. Then why do we rush? <laughs> What's going on? Well, every week I've been losing more and more students to that stupid self-defense class across the hall, and now, look. Hey, we're still your yoga students. <laughs> we'll even pay if you want. We don't pay? <laughs> we don't pay. Then what does it matter if we're late? You know what, guys? I think I'm just gonna cancel class for today. Aw, oh, darn, you sure? Yeah, might as well. I mean, there's lots of other things I can be doing anyway. Dharma, I'm seeing feelings, but I'm not hearing them. <laughs> I'm a bad teacher. No, no, you're a good teacher. Oh, sweetie, go ahead and cry it out. I don't want to cry. Yeah, crying is part of the healing process. When you cry over loss, remember when you were a little girl and the ice cream truck hit Doobie? We cried and cried. Doobie died? <laughs> You told me you took him to a farm. I didn't want to upset you, Larry. I, I really love that dog. We all love that dog. I miss my class. Of course you do, baby. Of course you do. Do, do baby. Have you ever seen a game like this? I've never seen a game like this. This is an incredible game. And how about this pizza? Best pizza I ever had. Extra cheese, extra sauce, extra crust. It's like two pizzas. Huh? I tell you, I am in heaven. Fine <laughs> woman, man, I gotta go. Dharma, what's the matter? What? Everybody quit our class to take self-defense. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's just the universe trying to tell her something. Trying to tell her what? That's not true, sweetie. Where did Pete go? Where did Pete go? Come back, Pete. Come back, Pete. Tell her he uh, can't stand to be around crying women. She speaks English. <laughs> Be okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm all cried out. Are you sure? Because we really don't have to do this. Well, I know, but I think your mother's counting on us. Karma, there'll be a lot of people at this fundraiser. She won't even notice if we don't show up. But Greg, what if everybody says that and no one comes? It happens, you know. <laughs> I mean, even when you know it's not your fault, there's this little voice inside your head. And it's loud for a little voice. <laughs> and it says you're just a big honking loser. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> Come on. Oh, God. Ah, Dharma. Gregory, I'm so glad you could come. What? It's a. Uh... What? Quite a turnout you have here, Mother. Well, you know, I always say, you give people what they want, you can't keep them away. What are you saying? I'm just a big loser? <laughs> hey, Dad, come over here and say hello. Greg, Dharma, glad you could make it. Oh, Dharma, aren't you supposed to be a whatchamacallit class? Yoga, Edward, yoga. Right, yoga. You know, I was just reading an article in Business Week that says yoga is pretty popular, uh, if you can believe the liberal press. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm ready for some opera. Are you ready for some opera? Mm-hmm. 
Dharma's a big fan of opera. Oh, that's so nice to hear. So many young people today have no class. <laughs> no class. <laughs> Uh, uh, let's go, Mom. Uh, bang a gong. Let's rock the house. He's been with her too long. Edward? Uh, uh, let me just get another drink. Uh, you have a drink. No, I don't. Please. All right, everyone, we're about to begin. Please take your seats. You're doing great, honey. Yeah, I know. I mean, yoga's not the only thing I can do. I do a really good impression of a fettuccine noodle, honestly. <laughs> but somebody's got to want that. <laughs> Thank you all so very much for being here, for being so generous with your donations to the opera. And I want to remind you, for every thousand dollars you get to join the Golden Circle. And for ten thousand dollars you get to wear an iron hat and be part of the show. <laughs> Amusing as ever, Edward. Now, without further ado, I want to introduce to you San Francisco's very own soprano divina Odetta Sandiford. Sandiford. Excuse me. Italian, but I, I think it's about a happy young boy and a chocolate cake. <laughs> no, it's not. It's about a woman whose lover leaves her pregnant, and then she kills herself. Well, still, it's a pretty bouncy considering. <laughs> She starts over. <laughs> oh my god. Your mom is gonna be so mad at you. Me? You're the one that started laughing. Yeah, well, you're the one who married me. You know, that's what really grinds her. <laughs> that's true. Oh. <laughs> ah, that was so much fun. <laughs> Yeah, and I thought the evening was going to be a total disaster. I'm glad you're back. You know what, Greg? I don't have to teach yoga. I think I'm going to go over there tomorrow and just clean up my locker and get on with my life. Good for you. I'm gonna bite your nose. Stop <laughs> what? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You've immobilized your attacker. What's next? You apply a little bit of pressure there, and you can make Mr. Mugger buy you dinner and drive you home. <laughs> now, if you really want to have some fun, you can bust through the soft tissue right about there, hook your thumb in under the bone, and you've got yourself a puppet show. <laughs> Practice that on a loved one. Okay. See you all tomorrow. Thanks for coming Hi. I'm Dharma. Nice to meet you, Dharma. Spider. Spider? Dharma? <laughs> Good point. Um, look, I was just wondering... No, it's too late. Class is full. But I've had new ones all the time. You want to put your name on the list over there? I'll be sure and give you a call if there's an opening. Or an injury. <laughs> 
no, I don't want to take your Fine, class. be a victim. This is the highest crime area in the city. Burglaries, carjacking, every 20 minutes someone gets mugged. Pretty scary, huh? Yeah, but it's not true. But it's still scary. <laughs> make stuff up like that? Well, basically, you start with nothing and you just build from there. <laughs> so you just frightened all my students into taking your class. Your students? Yeah, I'm the one who used to teach the yoga class across the hall. Oh, the one that got canceled. Oh, wow. You must be really mad right now. Yeah. Huh? I must really bug you, right? Yes. Well, what are you going to do about it? Um, um, uh, uh, um. Boy, lucky for you, I don't believe in violence. Well, then, this is going to come as a big surprise to you. <laughs> hey! What? Don't worry about me, I'm fine. I don't care if she is a martial arts instructor. A little antifreeze in her coffee, and she's begging for the stomach pump just like the rest of us. <laughs> Which is where we come in in our fake paramedic outfits. Why do you have fake paramedic outfits? <sighs> to get into concerts for free. <laughs> Duh. Oh, and we're not doing anything to this woman. The universe will take care of it. Dharma, I hate to say this, but I agree with Jane. Not on the psychotic homicide part, but I do think you should do something. Why is it psychotic? There's nothing I have to do. I mean, I'm a good teacher. She's a big liar. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Lather, rinse, repeat. That's it. Okay, but aren't you just a little bit angry? No. She'll pay for her bad karma eventually. Everybody does. It's a scientific fact. Oh, she's got us there. I feel good about myself. I can sleep easy tonight. Dharma? Karma, wake up. You're having a bad dream. Aren't you, yoga girl? <laughs> All right, spider. I'm gonna rearrange your chakras. <laughs> I'm not spider. I'm the 16th president of the United States, Martin Van Buren. Liar. He was the eighth president. Wait, how did I know that? <laughs> sex in this dream? No, honey, not in this one. Oh, okay. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. President. dressed as little Bo Peep. No, I'm... <laughs> when this happens. Your pathetic sheep herding style is no match for the spider. <laughs> or maybe it is. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
Howard. Must I do everything myself? What are you doing? Getting rid of the daughter-in-law I never liked. She doesn't like you. She never liked you. <laughs> Oh, this is a Get the sir. Get the <laughs> Now you will pay for your lies and fabrications. saying is give peace a chance. Good idea. have to happen it was such a waste <laughs> and he hates his hair <laughs> and so once again yoga has triumphed over mindless violence and the people of the village are safe yay <laughs> so now if you'll excuse me i'm gonna go have sex with my husband okay greg Ready when you are, baby. Wait a minute, you're not Greg. Yes, I am. Okay. So, what do you think? I think it's interesting that you had a dream with everyone in it but your own mother. <laughs> Abby, come on. What does it mean? I think you still have a lot of unresolved feelings about this woman stealing your students. No, I don't. Oh, really? Then how do you explain this? <laughs> I was hiding in your mug. <laughs> Dharma, wake up. You're having a bad dream. I was. Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> no, we need to fool around. Need to? Yeah. I just dreamt that I kissed some accountant from outer space. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, read this and learn the truth. There's no burglars, no muggings, no carjackings. The old people in the neighborhood are not a gang. They just travel in packs and got a good deal on matching windbreakers. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, hi. I decided I had to do something about all your lies, and I think it's time you tell all these people the truth about how you've been deceiving them into taking your class. All right, I, I, I think you ought to go. What did you say? I said no. Okay. Can somebody call an ambulance? <laughs> See, everybody, she's the only violence in this neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I could fight back, but that's 
that's not the answer. The answer is love and compassion. Now everybody focus all of your love and compassion on Spider. Are you through? Love. <laughs> ah, screw it. <laughs> You're not focusing, people! <laughs> What happened to you? I won! You beat her up? No, she kicked the hell out of me, but... I think she broke her pinky toe in my tush. So, how exactly did you win? Well, I just told my old students the truth. So they're coming back to your class? Oh, no. I think they're a little afraid to drop out of that self-defense class. She's pretty scary. This is ridiculous. We have laws. She can't intimidate people like that. Craig, I'm fine. I'll just start another yoga class as soon as I can, you know, bend. No. I'm not going to allow anybody to lay a hand on my wife and get away with it. Well, if her pinky toe wasn't broken before, it is now. 